about 30 or 40 minutes ago that King Supers has reached a tentative agreement with the workers' union, which looks like it's going to end this strike, at least for now. And that strike started last Wednesday. Fox 31's Lisa D'Souza has been on it since that strike started. Uh, Lisa, what have you learned about that agreement? Well, Ashley and Kirk, you can imagine, of course, that this is welcomed news for a lot of people. The union members that have been on the picket lines for more than a week, the grocery store, and certainly a lot of customers have been impacted by this as well. In all, more than 8,000 union members have been on the picket lines for more than a week at this point. Now, as far as the deal is concerned, not a whole lot of details have been made public yet, like you were asking about, Ashley, but I want to break down more about what we know at this hour. This is a tentative three-year agreement. Uh, the union is planning from here to share details on this agreement with its members. Then the members will vote to ratify that agreement. That voting process is going to start on Monday. Then the final contract will be made public here in the days ahead. Now, in response to all of this, the union releasing a statement this morning that reads in part, members now have contracts they deserve and can be proud of, noting this would not have been possible without the support of our allies. Now, in a statement from King Supers also coming out, this morning, the grocer saying, in part, we are pleased this agreement allows us to put more money in associates' paychecks, secure health care, and pension plans. So this morning, it looks like we've got a group of people here in front of this King Supers that we're at in Broomfield. Not clear uh, exactly if these are union workers who are on the picket lines earlier this morning, though it looks like they've got some signs that have been put down on top of one of those grocery carts there. So we're going to go talk to them and find out what happens from here if they've gotten this news yet. But again, union members planning to start this voting process on Monday. That is when the deal can become official. But certainly, you know, a lot of people, you can imagine, uh, feeling some relief knowing that this tentative agreement has now happened. Ashley and Kirk. And Lisa, I don't know if you know the answer to this question, but I'm curious. So the workers, they won't go back to work until this is approved, right? They're not going to go back to work today in anticipation of it being approved. That is the understanding, but at this point, still not 100% clear on that. So we're going to actually go speak with some okay. of those union members and try and get some clarity on that, and we'll check back well, in with we'll you guys. Let y'all do that, and we will check back in. Lisa DeSouza, live for us there. Breaking news, the King Super strike appears to be over for now. Thanks.